This is not what you want to stumble into on the beach. A bunch of dead fish. Melly, a 10 News reviewer sent us these pictures hoping that we could figure out what's going on. So 10 News reporter Joe Little looked into it and learned this happens more often than we know. This is what was found after a short stroll on Imperial Beach. A bunch of dead fish mixed in with the seaweed. That looks like a sardine. They aren't very big. All the ones I found are smaller than my sunglasses. I showed lifeguard Oscar Alvarez the picture sent to 10 News by a viewer. He knew immediately what was going on. It happens periodically. Alvarez says, simply put, El Nino is messing things up for these fish. Warmer water is cooking seaweed and trash in the ocean, and algae is eating it. And they feed and grow so fast that it uh, sucks the oxygen out of the water, and the fish tend to die off. Food, heat, air, uh, and then kaboom, you know, you got a big cooking pot. That cooking pot left dozens of fish on the beach. These pictures were taken Sunday. By Monday, most of them were either eaten by seagulls or washed back out to sea. Alvarez says it's nothing to be worried about. It happens. Maybe once a year, maybe every five years. It also happens to other species. In June, thousands of dead red tuna crabs washed ashore in La Jolla. El Nino also got the blame. The Imperial Beach locals aren't deterred. In fact, one surfer told me he's rooting for El Nino for the warm water and more rain. We'd rather have the warm water and the rain than care about the fish. Let's end the drought. In Imperial Beach, Joe Little, 10 News. Don't worry about that. As Joe mentioned, most of those fish were gone by this afternoon. Seagulls ate them or the tide pulled them back out to sea.